Hey, friends of golfers, we're going to take a look here at week two. Uh, see the kind of progress that I've made. And I'll say that, have I made some progress? Yes. Am I at exactly where I want to be um, after this week? No. But it's all part of the learning process. And so what I've learned this week is what I need to continue to hammer down on. And we're going to see here, if you just look at this space now. So one of the things you know, we talked about, um, what I told you I was going to work on was takeaway, getting it better. You can see I'm still working with the extension in there or the TRS, whichever one you guys want to use. I'm trying to ride it down my leg. I want more steep. I want my shoulders not as flat as they are up here, okay? Um, I'm going to look at a little deeper into my hip movement. But here I start going towards the target, which isn't bad. What I don't like here is that the separation starts to happen to really with those two. I want to see this lead shoulder when I'm here like everything starts diving down like going downwards towards here and here and instead you see I'm starting to come up with the shoulder kind of like it's a almost a driver okay so those are things I'm going to work on and feel like that drive down make sure I'm shifted here and that should help get me my uh, thorax I'm going to call this better now if we go here and take a look at like how I come down so there before the problem is racing down with the hands which you know when you always look at me and my swings I look like I am pretty good because I get here I still got some good extension in my wrist but I probably throw it away too quick or I stop turning and that makes it go right now this is you know I, I'm not gonna say a hundred percent better but there's some better stuff right here I don't like what my leg is doing. Um, I do have some shuffling. Got about half the leg through there. Yeah, my leg is not straightened, so I didn't push it straight. I don't know if that has something to do with using that um, tool. So let's go over here, look down the line, check on the um, how I did with my. You know, that's terrible. I, I want to see it going up the line, though, my takeaway. So I'm just going to feel a little more on it when I start it back, a little more straight back feeling. So I can get it started on this line. It's real important for me to do that because I have a tendency to just not have good takeaway. Am I happy with this? This is a huge fix for me because I was a big roller, okay? A roller in my arms. Um, and for those of you who have seen week one, you know, you guys know why. I just didn't get practice. I mean, so if we get to here, did I reset? I mean, I'm not really extending a ton. I don't think this is the best video me either because I looked at some others that were better. So it's like this is about the worst I think I can find. I like the hands legs and a little bit left. Um, early extension, right? And you know, is early extension everything? It just depends on the person. You know, Nicholas played with it. Um, does that mean that everybody should? No. Um, do I think it's a swing killer for most? Yeah, I do for amateurs, certain amateurs, because it. Um, it shows off some major issues that the golfer has, and it's not just like. You know, uh, I know some tour players who early extend, but their body doesn't stop. They still clear way out of the way, okay? So that's when you're dealing with something different, okay? Um, when you're dealing with early extension, that, kill, that can kill some of the amateur golf swings. So I think it has to be looked at in that way. Now, this is an improved camera angle. Um, I'm shooting uh, a bit from the side. This is my bay. I don't like shooting out because it's sunny here in AZ and in here, you know, it's a little darker so you just, it's hard to tell what you see out there. It's just for this white screen it looks like. So I get it, what I do is I get an impact here. I go here, I rotate the whole body forward, boom, and now I keep the body as much forward as I can. Get some side bend back, get that up, and then I go and look at that clearing. So I get back to where, I try to get back to where I started, right? You can tell that hip is much more cleared out of the way. The better with the leg on here too, getting us uh, more straight. So a much better move. Um, if we continue, if I look at my trail leg, how, I, how am I moving? I don't like this coming right out to the toe. So it's like I'm doing a better, much better job with my foot. Do I want to see it better? Yes. I want to see I'm rolling down on my ankle almost and not see this gap right here as much. So that's definitely something I can fix just by feeling like I'm rolling in on my ankle more. Um, so what is going to be the big work for me? Um, two, number two. We saw the takeaway, getting more up the line. Uh, you know, I have a mirror in my bay here at home, which is where you guys see a lot of my stuff. Here at work, I don't have the line um, drawn on, on the mirror for me. But 
you know, can work with. I have you know TrackMan here, so I can take a look at it whenever, just like here I do at home too. So, um, but I can just rep that out from here, which I like. Just get used to it, try to win. Do 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 straight up there. Um, I'm gonna work on more impact row because I know I need to clear more, and just get get that feeling of openness. Like if you have not been getting open. It's going to feel odd to get there. It, I'm telling you, it's going to feel really odd. And yet it, it's especially odd for those um, like me that have trouble starting the ball left and hooking it. But for most of us, us, the antidote to that hook and everything is getting cleared out of the way. Okay, so this is this is what's going to, getting this thing fixed is immediately going to change your life. Um, so... You're my, I'm talking like I'm seeing somebody else in my life. I'm so used to doing lessons. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so we're going to hit a lot of that, work on the takeaway, work on the um, impact drills, um, and then getting my shoulders as proper steepness through rotational drill tracers, tracing it with the uh, feeling like there's lasers on the end of the alignment stick that I use across my uh, shoulders. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching. I will be back with... Um, week three next week and hopefully see uh, some more progress thanks for watching eric store ejs golf company mm -hmm.